All right, um, finally got to uh, pick up some plants and uh, I'm gonna throw some Anubias and Jama ferns on one of these rocks here. Uh, this is my 120 Frontosa and Loach grow out tank. Got a small rock there on the left, a center rock and then a rock here on the right. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the plants on this one here. So I'm going to pull that rock and then put some uh, super glue some plants on there. Okay, so I'm ready to, uh, to super glue the rocks onto or the the plants onto this rock. And uh, first thing you want to do is make sure your plants are dry. Um, you're going to want to put the glue on the rhizomes. Uh, they don't have to be like bone dry, just a little dry is fine. Uh, the rock, I've had it sitting out for a couple minutes and the surface is kind of, it's damp, but it's not too wet. And the uh, the glue will adhere. Um, so what I did was I took my plants um, out of the bucket, like, you know, earlier I had them in there. And I kind of just set them around the rock um, so that way I know where to place them. Um, it can be kind of hard trying to find a place for plants and stuff and I'm not an aquascaper by any means but uh, just kind of take your time and uh, one thing to consider is the growth of the Anubias like I mentioned before uh, you can kind of see the direction of growth there so keep that in mind um, just so you know uh, future growth will be coming out this way for example on, on this plant here and then on this one here this is probably a better example uh, you can see how it's growing out this way, so it's going to keep shooting that way. So that's just one thing to consider. But um, all right, let's get to it. Uh, like I said, you're going to want to super glue the rhizome. Um, if you get roots, it's fine, but uh, preferably you want to make sure you focus on the rhizome here. So uh, there's a chunk of rhizome there. Go ahead and. Looks like I'm almost out on this one. It's a good thing I picked up another little tube. There we go. So just uh, some little globs there. I'll put three little globs and then place it in the, uh, the desired location. I'm just gonna press and hold it for a minute. And that's really all that is. There's not really much to it. Um, another thing to consider too is the uh, the orientation of the leaves. Uh, you want light coming down on them, uh, so you don't want to face them down. Uh, one thing that's pretty cool about the Anubias is that they uh, they adjust really quickly to the light, actually. So um, if you do kind of have the leaves oriented downwards, uh, the plant will start. Uh, I don't know how. You, to explain it but it'll start shooting the leaves and stems in the direction of the light so that's pretty cool but uh, just to make it easier on the plant just kind of make sure the uh, the leaves are facing upward that way they're catching light from the top from the top down all right so um, should be good there now the next one here is going to be a java fern piece. Um, like I said, they, they got rhizomes. Um, so you're just going to want to put the glue on the rhizome and then onto the rock. Just put a couple gloves. Uh, if it gets on the roots, no worries, uh, it'll be fine. But you don't wanna, you wanna aim for the rhizome. Just stick it there and hold it in place. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Moving on to this one here. I haven't really figured out how I'm going to place that one. Like I said, I'm no aquascaper. Um, I just like the plants in there because um, I feel like any aquarium looks more natural with the plants. Um, but uh, props to all you planted tank guys, man. Some of the work you guys do is beautiful. Wish I could do that, but I don't know. I like to keep things simple. So simple plants for me, simple aquascape. Uh, I tend to do things more like from a practicality standpoint. So uh, that's why if you see my rocks in my tank, they're kind of just centered in there. So I can easily uh, gravel back around everything. Maybe eventually I'll get into planted setups, but right now I'm just kind of sticking to basic stuff. Okay, so those three should be good. Uh, one thing you're gonna want to do is uh, make sure your uh, the tip on your super glue doesn't get dry. Oh, I got some glue on this leaf here. Oh. All right, I'll just flip this rock. This rock is kind of funny. It's like in the shape of the uh, the U.S. Here, let me show you what I mean by that. Yeah, so it kind of looks like the, uh, the the U.S. Okay. Um, now for these other ones here. I'm just gonna kind of place them wherever. Okay, this one's a little more tricky. Because the rhizome is so skinny, it's not really catching much, but we'll figure it out here. I think tongs would help out a lot, but I don't have any, so just got to make do with what I got. And then once the plants grow, I mean, it'll just, it'll fill out all the spaces. Okay, moving on to these other ones here. So what I want is just like some uh, some leaves to kind of let the fish swim in and around. Um, so I don't really I don't really mind them being just kind of like all over the place. We'll see what it looks like in the end. I think I'm running out of glue on this tube. We'll see if I can finish it anyways.
There you go. Alright, now for these last two Anubias, I think I'm going to place these... Mm, I think I'll just place that one there. Nope. So I come out of goop and grab the other bottle. Well, let's see here. Maybe I can squeeze it out. Yeah, I was able to get it. I don't like wasting glue. I was on a tight budget, so you gotta make it work, man. All right, last one. Where are you gonna go? So I'll just stick it over here. This one's kind of like in an odd shape anyway, so I don't think it really, it's really going to matter where it goes. It's going to look weird either way, but as it grows, it'll kind of change shape. I'll just like stick it right there. Awesome. So I was able to get all this done with the, uh, the leftover glue I had. Which is cool, so we got a fresh tube of uh, glue left over for whenever I get more plants. Now one thing that's cool about super glue is that um, if it's not fully cured, it'll cure rapidly in cooler water. So when you stick it in the tank, um, it'll cure. Uh, just be gentle, that way it cures. Um, and the plants still go like flying off. Um, it sucks when you put something in there and then the super glue didn't hold it or you rubbed it off with the finger or your hand and then you gotta pull the whole thing out and redo it again. Um, so yeah, let me just throw that in there and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I'm just gonna throw this rock in there and uh, the super glue should be cured by now. You just want to be very careful whenever you're uh, moving rocks and stuff. Um, you don't want to bump into your tank or anything like that. So hopefully that looks good. Um, need to uh, place the lid back. That way I can get the uh, the light back over it. all there is to it so now it just kind of looks like um, a little more natural a little less plain so that's what that rock looks like and then when I get more I'll do that rock next and then um, that little rock there as well but I guess that wraps it up for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I know it's kind of long. Um, oh, you can see the loaches there are already going to interact with the plants and stuff. 
Um, but yeah, I know it's kind of long, uh, so I apologize if you guys don't like long videos, but I love watching fish videos. I could watch them all day long. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, share, you know. And uh, until next time, I guess just do what you do. Stay happy, keep your fish happy, and uh, until next time, Fishing 4K signing off.